Hi, I'm Roger Mooking. I've joined forces with Mila Canada to improve your culinary adventures. So stay tuned for recipes and videos. Let's go. All right, it's time for lemon and pea shoots risotto. It's super simple. You know, there's this kind of mythology about risotto being a very difficult thing. It's actually a very, very simple thing. I'm gonna start with a good pat of butter, large pat of butter, like so. While that's starting to melt, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to it. The oil is gonna help uh, make sure that the butter doesn't burn, okay? All right, I'm gonna take an onion, just give it a, fine dice, because I want the onion to kind of melt away into the risotto, right? Makes vertical slices about quarter inch apart-ish. Perfect timing, my butter is melting. It's not burning because I got some oil in there. All those onions in the pan. And I don't want high heat, so I'm starting at a medium temperature. I just want to do what you call sweat the onions, which is where they become soft and translucent but without any color or browning on it, okay? When I'm sweating onions like that, I like to take a little bit of salt. It helps to extract the moisture out of the onion really quickly and it actually helps not only season the dish, but it also uh, makes sure that it helps to sweat it easily without browning the vegetables because we're releasing the moisture, right? The aroma is incredible already. I mean, butter and onions, time-tested, gorgeous combination. So many cultures around the world start so many dishes with butter and onions, okay? Now I'm gonna get my arboreal rice. Now, arboreal rice is a short-grained rice. They're short, medium, and long grain rice. It's a short grain rice with a, a high starch content. What we wanna do is add it in, Literally, we're trying to coat every grain of rice with some of that oil and butter, okay? Kind of gets it a little bit toasty, adding a complexity to the flavor as well. Now, I'm gonna take this hot liquid and then add it gradually, okay? Enough that it absorbs every time. So now that's all sweat there, I'm gonna add some Prosecco. I got some fancy Prosecco here. And we wanna add this and then Cook it down so that all of the moisture is absorbed from that alcohol, okay? Add that in, we're cooking off the alcohol gradually. It's just adding a lot of brightness to the, to the dish. And again, turn up the temp a little bit, let it bubble and simmer. We wanna let all of that liquid absorb before we add more liquid, okay? So let that do its thing while it's simmering away there. I'm gonna take my pea sprouts. I love the pea sprouts, one of my all-time favorite things. I'm just gonna give it a kind of small but rough chop, because it's gonna incorporate into the risotto. Almost all of the liquid is absorbed. Now, before it totally dries out and you start to scorch the stuff in the pan, I have some hot chicken stock here. You can also use vegetable stock. And I'm gonna add this gradually, and every time I add, I'm gonna gently stir it, and then let it absorb almost all of that liquid. Now, the trick with the risotto is not that it's difficult, it's just timing. You need to make sure you have your liquid nice and hot, because if you were to put cold liquid into the, the risotto, it needs to rehydrate and bring it up to temperature every time, and so it's that much longer sitting in the pan. You wanna gradually control how you release the starch, from the arboreal rice. So by having a hot stock, you're not shocking it with cold liquid, okay? So now that that's almost fully absorbed, all of that water, nearly done, I'm gonna add another ladle of chicken stock. So some people think like you actually add like whipping cream to risotto to get that creaminess. Not at all, it's just purely coming from the starch that's coming off of this like highly concentrated starchy, uh, short grain rice. Again, starting to bubble. Most of the liquid is gone. Add another ladle. All right, let's check where we're at with the doneness of the rice. So, it's getting close, getting close. Has a little bit of tooth to it. I do want it creamy, but still a little bit too hard in the center. At this point, you want to turn it down 
to make sure that you're not gonna scorch the starch and burn the contents of the pan, right? So you gotta move it a little bit more frequently, be gentle, don't be aggressive with it. But you do gotta be mindful of that starch starting to scorch, okay? Okay, we're really getting there now. It's really starting to do what you call double bubbles. You see the, the bubbles kinda bubble double. <laughs> it's a, just a visual cue. They're moving faster and smaller. This is what I mean by double bubbles, yeah? And that's actually a, a kitchen culinary term that we use colloquially. But now it's getting really close. Let's check where we're at. It's a very fine line where it goes south quickly. Okay, a little bit of tooth to it. We're in the sweet spot. I'm gonna turn this down now because I don't want all this liquid evaporating and I don't want it cooking too much more than that, okay? But I do want to finish it. So come with me. Yo, check this out. This is really cool. What? Look at that fridge, it's amazing. I love this fridge. Look at how much space is in this fridge. But what I really, really like about it, I mean, I'm really into design. Like you see this building, it's like designed really beautifully. And you know, when I was drawing out this building, I wanna make sure that it can function for a variety of different uses so that it's modular. Sometimes it's a photo studio, sometimes it's a cooking studio, an instructional place, an event space, we have caterers. So I wanna make sure that the flow of the design in the whole room, everything flows for every single client. And look at that. Sometimes you don't even know where the fridge is unless you know where the fridge is. Oh, I love it! All right, let's get ready to finish this risotto. So it's perfectly creamy, perfectly al dente, ready to go. I'm gonna turn it down just to keep it warm, but now it's time to finish it, okay? I'm gonna add some lemon juice. This is enough of half of a juicy lemon. That's gonna add, of course, a bright citrusiness to the whole dish. I'm not trying to add a lot more liquid. Now I'm just trying to add all the flavor components. It's a lemon and pea shoot risotto. So I got the lemon in there. It's time for the pea shoots. Make sure it's nice and creamy. Oh my gosh, that is looking incredible. And then we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Good whack. Let's move it over and plate this up. It's quite rich dish, so you don't need a lot but you want a lot. <laughs> and then to finish, finish a little bit more Parmigiano. Drizzle with a touch of olive oil, like so. Just like that. It's not difficult, it just takes time. Lemon and pea shoot risotto. <laughs> 